Jonathan looks like he's done with the world. It's gonna die at the end of this episode. I swear to God. And then the children are gonna go at each other like wolves. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you could, please leave the video a like before exiting and please consider subbing. Today we'll be watching Succession. everyone if you're new welcome to the channel if not welcome back we're getting into succession and i've always wanted to watch it but to be honest i just never had the time between school and all that and i really didn't have the space to get into like new shows but it just ended and i saw all over my timeline like listen did i get spoilers probably not because i don't understand anything i saw or read but I don't know, some people were pissed on my timeline, some people loved it, some people said, oh, you should have seen this coming, and all that. Either way, the show's over, so I just wanna sit down and get into it. Um, I know nothing about it. Like, I don't know the plot, I don't know the characters. Well, I know, like, a few characters. I only know one character's name. I've seen a lot of them, I just don't remember them because they're boring, but one character name I completely remember is Shiv. Because I'm like, who names their child Shiv? Shiv Shiv, Shank Shiv, because every time I saw that, I'm like, is this a character's name or are we shiving some, like, is it a noun or a verb? <laughs> Wait, is is a shiv, no, I think, is a shiv, uh, like the, is it a noun and a verb? Like to shiv someone or do you shank someone with a shiv? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about the gnome, uh, Nomenclature? Is that the right word to, to describe it? You know what? Shiv is the only character I know. <laughs> because the name stands out. Anyways, I'm excited to get into this. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is you like to do when you watch your favorite reactions. Just get comfortable and let's get to. That is awkward. So, we ready to f or what? What? Yeah, uh, okay. I think Volter is the shiz. We're the shiz? Yeah. Oh my goodness, can you stop we're using gonna, this like a slang? Appreciate your interest in our little outfit, but I, I think that's it. You get the message? What? I'm not letting you Neanderthals into my company, ever. Yeah, I'm uh, right in the middle, Dad. <laughs> no need. <laughs> no need to call him. He called you. I'm going to 120. Look, it's exciting. This is going to be great for you, Dad. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm more like disappointed. <laughs> Don't pull on my tail. Oh my God, they're beating the out of him. This man is two seconds from me. Oh my god, I knew it. Oh, gee. You're throwing up in your mask. Kill me now. Just send the flood. Hey, hey, mother. Roman. Why are these guys so god. dweeby? Are you saging? So, what's the bid? <clears throat> what's the bid? Mm-hmm. Going 125. Oh, they went up to 125. For, for Volta, right? Yeah. yeah the, Bit of content and a yeah. brand name. Bit of content Went and a brand name's kind of the whole game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Why are you spending so much money? <laughs> Dude! Look at all this bullshit. Why did I feel like he was good at his job but got kicked out because he was daddy's favorite? Like, <laughs> is that what I, is that the feeling I'm getting here? When were you gonna look at that speech? I'll be back on Sunday night, so I'll let him speak okay, again. Okay, but his office wants the phone numbers by the pre -kend. The pre -kend? What the fuck's a pre -kend? pre -kend is Friday. Y'all can, can, can just can't... That's what I'm saying. You can just say Friday? Can just say Friday? Friday I'm late. We throw in another 10 million? <laughs> you might need to throw in a blowjob, too. I'll throw in a blowjob. Why are you I'll giving so job. much? The whole point of negotiation is around. you want less. Oh, you don't want to give... Why are you giving away so much? <laughs> your father realized you're failing. How's it going? Good. Like, how do you up to uh, 125? Uh, uh, good. Putting Marcy on the trust is housekeeping. Yeah, Marcy's fine by me. Who's Marcy? Global Tom. Hey, how are you shaking? You still <laughs> for us? <laughs> still cleaning up your mess, pal. No. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. Hey, sis. Hi. Oh, politics Jeez. still boring the living out of you. Oh, hello there. 
Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, um, I'm, actu I'm actually here to see you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, no, oh, oh my no. goodness. Isn't that his, like, great grand nephew? Um, I got sick out of Dod out of Dodrick's eye holes. <laughs> great, excellent, wonderful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why does this, I swear, this man looks like he's done with the world. It's gonna die at the end of this episode. I swear to God. And then the children are gonna go at each other like wolves. You came? <laughs> oh my goodness, like, you should be yeah, back at the office. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> On the family trust, which will decide the situation in the event of my unlikely demise. Unlikely to all oh, he's dying at the end of this episode. My and my seat also to go to her on my death. What? Wait, well, that gives her a double voting weight. Uh-huh. I'll stay in situ as chairman, CEO, head of the firm. God, what you... you <laughs> <laughs> he said not now. It's just, it's Connor. Connor. On the trust, I refuse to play. I don't want to engage. I'm water. I flow. Connor, Kendall. I'm trying to figure out these damn names. Don't mean to be strict. Okay, so the, what happened to their mother? Do they all have the same mother too? Three years ago, you were still in the nut house. Oh <laughs> my God! <laughs> and I'm in recovery. About to get into a big dick competition, okay? Yeah, but sometimes you gotta whip it out. Sometimes it is a big dick Exactly, yes! Okay. Investment strategy to save us if you'll just let me. Do you wanna hit me? Is that it? Huh? Go on. Give it your best shot. Where has this man been this entire episode? Now he definitely not dying at the end of the episode. He ain't dying now. I mean, I guess this is a healthier way instead of doing coke, but granted he doesn't have coke on him. I mean, dude, if you're not ready, you're not ready. And the fact that you're not self-aware enough to see that maybe you're in over your head is probably why he's not letting you take over. And he cleaned up after. The number is 140, cash with a stock alternative. You upped it? You better play nice though, because I'm the whole company. Yeah, I think you're gonna stick around because I'm gonna stuff your mouth with so much money, you're gonna gold figurines. This is a deal good, you have to take it, or we'll see you in court, dude. Okay, I guess he swung his dick, but I, I mean, but still like, dude, the whole point of negotiation, you kind of want to not have to lay the goose like give him the entire golden egg like take the company with you know give me your 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 company for as little as i have to pay for it officially the deadline is passed frank's out of the picture mm. yeah our position is this doesn't quite work for us at present you what it's not sufficiently attractive as a proposition so is this about the heart attack? Who's Kelly? Kelly was what? What? Is he okay? Is what? there something wrong with him? Is yeah. he having a stroke? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. I was joking about this man dying at the end of the episode. Did he just keel over? Uh, he's uh, hospital. At hospital. Takes two hours. I, I was joking. No. I really thought he ain't no. He's really hot. He's really hot. Hold this job. Okay. And it's time for Succession episode two show at the factory. Yeah, he uh, had. I don't know. I don't you know, know I was joking um, that entire time that he but, was going to uh, end up in the hospital or die at the end of the episode, and yeah, I don't know if he's going to be okay. <laughs> now he's really in the hospital. I don't know if he's dead though. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, uh, excuse me, uh, doctor. Is this the best? <laughs> oh my God, part Roman. Of the hospital. Sorry. Is this where you would take your father? I'm sorry. Can uh, have some space, please? Hey, 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 hey here's oh an idea. Goodness. Why don't you worry about the medicine, not the feng shui. Yeah, gonna... These kids are so. I, I don't know what to make of them. They're all hilarious. Weird. Eccentric, but hilarious. I'm guessing Connor is the oldest son. I would, I'm still curious if they all have the same mother. <laughs> Kieran Culkin, is he related to, uh, is, it, is his name Malcolm or McCall? Uh, don't, uh, forget it. If you all know who I'm thinking of, let me know if he's actually related to him. <laughs> if it's Macaulay Culkin or... M Malcolm, I don't know his name. 
And I think he was um, a child actor. Somebody said that, right? Somebody said hemorrhage or stroke? I The ambulance. A stroke is a hemorrhage. It is. Yes. Did someone say hemorrhage or is it just us who said it? It could be an aneurysm. You know, I'm kind of with Kendall, like y'all throwing words at the wall to try to get it to stick. I'm gonna need y'all to get specific. Are you are you staying at the hospital? I guess. I mean, I think I've got a job, but I don't I don't know. Y'all well, can I, I, I know you did not just talk about a job while this man is so, fine for his life. And then the Second World War, Logan Roy grew up in poverty, but Don is he, the richest and most powerful. What is he watching? AT and obituary, they want us to okay it in case they have to run it. Oh man, that's that's morbid. No, I wouldn't want to either. I think the eldest has a different mother and the three in the middle, well, the three youngest. Okay, yeah, he just confirmed it. We need to talk uh, over here, okay? Oh my God. Is this just in the event if he passes? The nominating committee, the board has a plan in I figured. Logan's incapacitation. Sorry, do I need to hear this right now? Unfortunately. Mm, this is so difficult. First, he has to watch an obituary for his father, and now he has to take on everything. Oh, my God. I hope he doesn't relapse during the tenure of this show, but something tells me he's going to relapse at some point. To become acting CEO, Frank stays on as CEO. If what happened earlier today between you two gets up. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. The fact that he wasn't going to step down. And you leaking information that he's a little Logan. off. Just wanted to. I think they're the closest siblings. I've been thinking. Wouldn't it be nice for Dad to wake up and for all of us to have signed? And if he doesn't wake up, we've basically signed over to Marsha the power to choose the new dad. So these kids don't like her, but I have yet to see anything Marsha's done to seem awful. <laughs> well, you did make her husband's brain explode. You, man. Oh my goodness. Listen, I didn't grow up with the brother, so I don't know if <laughs> he just left. <laughs> He's like, I see shit. They say got nothing to do with me. Slowlings fight. Oh my god. Listen, my sister and I, we have fought. We've hit each other. I don't know what it's like to have a brother slap me, <laughs> but I know what it's like to have a sister throw a textbook at me. <laughs> Or did I throw the textbook? I don't know. <laughs> Sign and they're in some envelopes. Just pick them up at the house and bring them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where are where are the papers? They're in Why the is he so on board with in the, signing these papers? Does he just feel guilty? Like, does he really feel? Because <laughs> he's so tall. But does he really feel compelled to sign them because his father, like, as a willing, like, as a gesture, like a kind gesture, like he really wants to sign all that away. I just spoke to the nominating committee. And uh, the thing is that the plan is to announce that I take over from Dad. Well, no. I'm upset. Hey, I'm upset too. Oh, not too upset to go and fucking plot with the suits. Fuck you. N no, that's... Yeah, that's not fair to him. Right? I'm not doing this. If Dad dies, mm. I don't want to be talking about this shit when he dies. He won't die. I get everybody right now. I really do. This is so painful. You don't want to entertain thoughts that he might die, but at the same time, you have to like, listen, at least I, well, did I know my dad was going to die? No, I was too young. I was like six, but I mean, looking back at it, everybody knew my dad was going to die. He had stage four lung cancer. He wasn't surviving, but it's the suddenness of it all that is probably just jarring them and signing anything over just feels like you're signing his death sentence. Ugh. So gross. I, I I understand why no one wants to talk about, it. and I don't think Kendall e does want doesn't want to either. But it's like you have to, you got to step up in this situation. It's part of it. Better give me the money, dude. This kid is such. I don't. I don't. I, I, I hope he grows into a very intelligent, efficient okay? young man. A bleed in the deep right hemisphere that put pressure on the thalamus and the brainstem, and that's what caused a loss of consciousness. We will carry out regular observations, and hopefully we'll see some improvement soon. I guess they hope the bleed repairs itself. My assistant's been in touch with Ann Wyman at NYU, and we, we might move Dad there. No, he stays here. Oh, I can already see where this is going. They're going to think she's trying to let him die. I hope he doesn't die, because I really do like 
I want to explore more of his relationship with Kendall. Because that whole you want to hit me scene was tense. You, the chief operating officer? Yup. I love you, man, but you're not a serious person. Mm. Now that Fuck I agree you. with. He's alive. Knows. We have to say something. No, actually we don't. Because no one knows how serious it is. So we don't have to say anything. Actually. Has a CEO ever been out of action and people haven't been told? Well, once. We do know there's a duty to shareholders to let people. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know what we know. I mean, Jesus, these kids. Why is Kendall the only one I'm liking? Because I, uh, the rest of them all just seem so damn childish, man. At least he has someone he can talk to that isn't like getting on him how are you feeling good thank you thank you someone for asking him there's something i have to say to you what? siobhan roy oh my what God. the hell will you marry me oh my dad dying in a sterile environment that screams big romantic gesture to you exactly dude are all these people just so damn off kilter like are, have they been so rich they they, they can't understand <laughs> The moment, the mood of a room. I mean, I get it, y'all. Yeah. You included. Our you say. Our family. Oh no! I didn't like how you said our family. Is that why he wants to marry her? Why he so he can get in on the family? Oh no, Tom. I'm see. Didn't she suggest Tom should be? Y'all, is Tom playing a long game with this girl? I'm so suspicious of him. CEO and COO. Oh. Me and my homie Romy. I thought I was a fuckhead. Uh, dipshit, and you said that. You said I wasn't serious. You're not. And if you don't think you are, that's a problem. Like, I could teach you. And uh, you could, you know, teach me. <sighs> Y'all both lack tact. But then again, when you have that kind of money, I guess you don't need tact. I'm with him. I'm making that face. What the hell, dude? How old are you? Please tell me you're at least over 30. Well, the family proposes that Kendall run the company with Roman as COO. I hereby concur. I'm sorry, I just need a, just need a conversation with you in private. Oh, God. What, what bomb is she about to drop? But, um, there's a huge debt problem. You, what? No. Yes, no, three, not. three billion. Fuck off. Don't jump. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hide this from Roman. He probably will though. Oh. I did not see that coming. It's time for episode three, Lifeboats. I know you said that he wasn't great, but I was passing by, so I thought I'd just drop in. That is so sweet. Do you know? He's not seeing people right now. Yeah, but I thought I could just... Can take him a little bit grouchy. I'm afraid that is out of the question. I'd push that heifer... Okay, no, I'm sorry. You stopped me from seeing my parent. I'm... I'm pushing you down them damn fucking steps. And why was that girl crying and she's saying it's just morphine? Please tell me she's not keeping this man doped up. Hi, I have Mr. Polk. My dad's a bastard. They need to know I'm a bastard too, right? Right. Great. Uh... <sighs> Uh, I think your father could be a bastard because he was already in a position to screw someone over or he had the confidence to know that you couldn't get one up on him. You seem to be a little bit behind the curve. Uh, I guess, you know, what I'd like to know is what your position will be if we have a sustained breach of the stock price and we fall out of compliance with our debt covenant. The drops were entitled to ask for a payment. In full. Shit. Uh-huh. Exactly. Technically. Legally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're not crazy about the media sector. We're not crazy about how your father has treated our relationship. And our position is to seek recruitment. Oh, come on, man. Fuck off. <sighs> I'm not a particular fan of foul language, and I don't like to be insulted. Thank you. Good morning. Well, he screwed that relationship over. Yeah, you went in not understanding the relationship this man had with your father, and then you came and tried to be your father. Why didn't he try to get like a understanding of who this guy was, his personality, what he likes, what he does not like before he engaged in a phone meeting with him? We need a more dynamic strategy. 
Now let's call it, uh, for the sake of clarity, strategy of a thousand lifeboats. Walter is a lifeboat. There are no bad lifeboats. Porn could be a lifeboat. Except that. That's a bad <laughs> lifeboat. Look, this isn't a brainstorm. All I'm saying, uh, everyone's invited, okay? I want each and every one of you to be innovating, challenging, being bold, being disruptive. I really want to see Roman step up. Oh, is he about to have his genius moment? Is he about to like brainstorm an epic plan? Is this like his process? Is he about to... What are you doing, sir? Oh my god. I, You know, here I thought this was some kind of genius process and he's just jacking off in front. Shouldn't you be answering your emails? You got like a thousand coming off and he's literally trying to come. Or we pay the bank back, which I mean, to realize that much cash, stocks sell down, which is horrible. Suggest something? Yeah. Can I suggest we all take our shirts off? Okay, Kendall. Break shit up. Like, just disrupt. I, I'm trying to see where this goes. Okay, where are we going? Where sure are we going? Off. I'm going with you. Sure okay, sure I, I'm off. sticking. I'm sticking with Roman. Your jacket off. Are we trying to like brainstorm, oh. do something weird, in order to break okay. the so pattern of thinking? First position. We sell down the stock. We survive. Maybe we cut a title or two from physical production, newspaper-wise, online only. Okay. I mean, I guess we just have to ask or you know, tell Dad. Will Marshall let y'all see him? And will he even agree? Okay. He's improving. He's really improving. Great. Yeah. Because uh, I, sh I should probably let him know something. He's resting. Woman. I'm sorry, it's not a good time. Any time is not a good time, apparently. Well, uh, let him know, will you, that I stopped by. I wanted to talk to him. What did you think? Why are you? I'm sorry. What's she going to do? How you? I... <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this, but you are a grown ass man. What the hell is this woman supposed to do? Go up there and go see your own father. The fuck? You came out his seat, not her. Move. She may swallow it, but she ain't come from it. Move. I've had an idea. Okay. How about instead of taking us over, you give me $4 billion? What? I stay boss. You stop raiding shitty companies for scraps. For once you make things bigger, you know, with your old power. Oh, I hate this. I hate this for Kendall. I'm afraid of him going anywhere near this man after this scene. I don't want Kendall to relapse, but I, just for the drama of it, he might. Will. Is this about me signing some pieces of paper or? Oh, please, Chef. It's very difficult as it is. Oh, oh God. Why do I, waterworks? why do I gonna feel like is he really it? is bad? Cry now? Please. Oh, God. He's very bad, isn't he? I love you. Oh, no, but get the hell out. He's gonna say something. There's gonna be a button there. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. What the? Oh, he doesn't know it's her? Oh, he's not fully there. I don't think he realized it was his daughter. At least I hope he did not realize it was his daughter. Well, we've been looking at the terms we can offer. I think you've seen what we've put together. I don't know. The margin you're making, you might even say you were... Well, I mean, extortion is an ugly word, but... <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Everything's golden. We don't need you. This can all stay private, and I'll be looking elsewhere for a banking partner as we go supersonic. Goodbye. Mr. And Roy. fuck you. I, I want to root for... He, I'm so used to him, everything he does backfiring, so I'm... I don't know if this is going to go well. If the guy that he... I believe it's Stewie, his name is, if that's going to pan out. What if it doesn't pan out? And he already just burned that bridge with Mr. Polk. Oh my god. Your father would like to see you. Oh god. I'm afraid for him. He's probably gonna get cussed out by his dad. Oh god, I can't see Kendall take another hit. I feel so bad for this man sometimes. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the inevitable relapse, and I'm probably gonna cry my ass out with this man. Oh god, he's sitting up watching TV. Oh god. I'm not ready for this. Oh god, he's probably gonna say some awful shit to him. I'm just waiting for the inevitable you are stupid. You took a gamble on that loan. 
but I found as a private equity solution, so. Or maybe he just didn't want his son to know about his loan. We're, we're in good shape, Dad. You just keep getting better. I got this. Fucking idiot. Oh, I knew it was coming. I didn't want it to come. Oh, no. Kendall. You took the loan out and then you damn near dropped dead. What else was he supposed to do? Have you ever actually like taught him? I wonder if Logan actually taught him. Are you going to explain? You're just going to... Am I gonna hate Logan? <laughs> I'm about to hate Logan. I know it's not that simple as... I, oh God, I feel for Kendall. Like I said, there's just something about a character that is so completely earnest. Yes, he is not perfect. He is deeply flawed. But the one thing I can't knock him for is he really does want to succeed. If not just for his ego, but to make his father proud. Isn't that his friend with the broker? The oh my god, what's his name? Sandy Farnes and then Stewie. Oh, I had a feeling this plant. That's why his dad called him a fucking idiot because he knows it's gonna backfire. Shoot. I really want I really want Kendall to succeed, man. I want him to get it right. Okay, so that was the first three episodes of uh, the season one of Succession, and I'm liking the show thus far. Yeah, Kendall, he, he he's like a little screw up. I, I I don't know. There's just something so honest in his in his earnest efforts to succeed, and I I think it's a combination of his father's expectations, his expectations, the expectations of the world of being Logan Run's Roy's son and, and what that expectation of him to be and him trying to fit himself into that, as well as his own pride. You want he wants to take his father's place. He wants to make his father proud. He also wants to feel proud of himself like he can do it. And I don't really know if this is just a case of mm, it's a if it's a case of there, he's doing something that he wasn't meant to do. Like he was taught, he was trained, but it just doesn't take, it doesn't stick. It's not that he's not a natural, because I do believe there are some things out there where just not natural, it doesn't come natural to us. We, you have to work and you have to like put, put pen to paper, nose to the grindstone and, and really just exhaust yourself to learn something. I don't know if that's the case for Kendall where it's either he was taught or trained or he just doesn't have a natural in inclination towards it. Either way, I don't think this is what he was meant to be doing, but this is what he's been exposed to all his life. So there really is no other option for him. In his mind, it's either be his father or surpass his father or bust. But there, and yes, he's a very flawed character. I think there are certain things like he just, it goes over his head. He doesn't read the situation right. But I feel like he wants to believe that he's gotten it right, that he's willing to ignore maybe signs or hints or clues that this isn't the best option. It's it's his self-belief. I just think he has bad instincts. I, I think that's it. I watch, I don't know, I'm pretty sure there are some people out there who watch Billions. Um, it's a Showtime show <laughs> drama and there's a character that's played by Maggie Sif. I got into this show because Maggie Sif played Tara in Sons of Anarchy and I kept up with a lot of the actors on that show, works that they went on to do because I just fell in love with the actors on Sons of Anarchy and so I got into Billions because of the actress and her character says something that just I think of Kendall and there's a moment where her character is speaking to uh she's like a a, a a sport a performance coach and she does do sports but she's she a performance coach slash therapist whatever and she's talking to someone who works at Axe Capital uh Taylor and they're like you need to cultivate instinct and the best way to do that is to separate it from your hopes, your dreams, your fears. It, it's it's a it's a strictly objective place is what your instinct should be. And I feel like 
Kendall's instincts lead him all the way wrong because his self-belief clouds that. He, I feel like he believes in himself just not to say believing in yourself is a bad thing, but when you want something to go right, you want to believe that you did the right thing, you're willing to ignore signs, objective signs or objective details that would say this isn't the best idea, this isn't a smart idea, and I feel like it's, but there's an earnesty in that, in my opinion, and, and when you see people like that, you want them to succeed. I'm afraid he's going to have a moment where he relapses during the course of the four seasons. I hope he doesn't, but I'm, I'm expecting it. And seeing him in that bathroom and, and his back turned, it's just, I don't hate Kendall's character. I truly, I, I enjoy his character. He's the character I enjoy the most. And I'm rooting for him. <laughs> I really am rooting for Kendall. Oh, and then you get Roman. I keep hoping that Roman is like some secret genius because of how eccentric he is. I, he had that moment where he's like, you know, I feel like Roy Coy, Ro, Roy Coy Waystar has fallen off due to these disruptors, like, you know, the newspaper going out of style because of different forms of media coming through and other forms of media that took over newspaper going out of style because different forms of, like you know it's all about what i would say ergonomics is what really kind of disrupts whatever is more ergonomically friendly is labeled a disruptor it's just easier access for for people in their everyday lives and they get labeled disruptor so i guess that's what Roman was trying to do, take off your shirt, let's just disrupt the way we would normally do this. And that may allow thoughts or, or weird ideas that you normally wouldn't think of to flow. But beyond that moment, Roman just seems, um, I'm still curious as to what he wanted the sweater for, for his, fa his father's sweater. I actually thought he wanted to wear it. I wonder if he has like this yearning for his father's love. And if the the, the sweater was like a security blanket in a way like you know not to compare him to a dog but you know when my dog went in not so long ago like he's a year out no i have two two older dogs and they've had to have surgeries for their hips and their knees and things like that we brought a shirt like a worn shirt from like well my sister because my dog's <laughs> my dogs they don't hate us but they love my older sister the most which makes sense they sleep in her room they're with her all the time but um we 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 left them with a t-shirt for them to put in the the the, the, the crate that they put them in after surgery so i'm there thinking maybe that's why he wanted his dad's sweater sort of like leaving a worn sweater for your dog when they go in for surgery so they have your scent i don't know but and and i do think him being so dogged on wanting to sign those papers as some kind of kind gesture to his father i do wonder if he's yearning for his father's love the most out of all the kids but that scene of him jacking off at that window why did it give me like house to dragon aegon jacking out of his window <laughs> Oh, uh, just just weird, very weird. I'm I'm I, I I'm I'm waiting for him to find his rhythm. Maybe he he actually has a knack for this. He just needs to be I don't know less unserious, or maybe if he becomes more unserious. No, I was gonna say more unserious, but I've I've not seen him take anything seriously. But if he does adapt to something that's not him if he'll lose i can't really call him a genius because he really hasn't done anything too spectacular yet but granted it's only three episodes and then shiv shiv i'm waiting for her to have her moment but as it stands i find her to be very like petulant very much like roman i think they're they're the most childish ones of the bunch Shiv, I, I, I want to like her. I want to root for her, but as it stands, I haven't really seen anything that moves me yet. I'm waiting for it. Something that moves me towards Shiv that moves that needle hasn't happened yet, so I'm going to wait to like judge her character out too much. 
Like, I don't want to... I don't want to say I don't like her. I want to wait and give her a chance to, like, flesh, flesh out a bit more and really get into her... The, the meat. Speaking of Shiv, Tom. I don't trust Tom. Because in that hospital where she says, my family is a bit crazy. And he says, our family... And the fact that she suggested he take over for her father. I'm not liking Tom too much. He's creepy. He's weird. He strikes me as someone who knows what he's doing. Like, there's no way in hell you can do the things he does and not understand you're weird. I think he knows it. I think he knows it takes people off. Like, would people... The, how can I, he strikes me as a manipulator there's no way in hell he doesn't know he's weird like the things he does and says is creepy and i feel like he does it to make people feel uncomfortable and that gives him an edge in a situation i don't know i don't trust him though when he said our family like i think like i don't know if he loves her or not i just think he wants to be in on the family i get that from him and i guess another part of Shiv's character so far as Marcia. At first, I didn't see anything too sus about her. I just thought maybe, you know, she's not their biological mother and that makes them like side eye her, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Shiv's suspicion or maybe the show just wants us to be suspicious of her to like as a red herring. But the fact that she said, if you want to know anything about me, just ask me. I, know, I think that was well time to her, you know, putting on a background check on the woman. <laughs> I feel like she knows. And the fact that they don't know anything other than that makes me feel like she did clean up her background. I don't trust Marcia. The two characters I don't seemingly trust is Marcia and Tom. I got my eye on both of them. And then you got Cousin Greg. I don't know what's up with this kid. He just... I feel like he was just born adjacent to a very wealthy family and if he wasn't he'd probably be on the street asking for drugs like maybe not that extreme but like with a skateboard in hand I feel like instead of wearing a suit you should be in a sweatshirt some pants sneakers at a skating ring smoking up is that wrong is that a bit stereotypical to put on the kid probably but I am going to I don't <laughs> I'm sorry the only character I'm really gravitating towards is Kendall and his relationship with his father I'm still that moment where he says you want to hit me there's something very dark to that relationship that I want to get into more I'm very interested about Kendall's relationship with his dad. I want to, I'm, I'm eagerly waiting for that to like get like a, like, like a walnut, crack that bitch open and see what's in, 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 in it, like in its innards, because that scene before they had that lunch was like all red flags. And then that, that you idiot. I wonder if Logan try to teach him or if he's just you know threw him in the deep end and said swim idiot I don't know I really want more of that relationship and I want Shiv I really want to see more of her because I want to like her but as it stands I, I'm not I'm not driving with her too much she seems a bit too petulant childish same thing with Roman but I guess it tracks they had, you know, they, they grew up with a, an extreme level of wealth. So taking things seriously just probably doesn't come naturally to them. I don't know, but... Oof. The, can, the character I'm rooting for is Kendall. I, I want you to succeed. I hope he does. I hope he, like, figures his life out. I feel like he's a character that has clearly made a lot of mistakes, but he recognizes okay maybe no no I don't think he's a character that recognizes his mistakes I think he he sees his mistakes as mm, other people's faults <laughs> but I do think him recognizing that people don't like him I do think that's a step 
in the right direction, self-awareness. As long as he's more self-aware, I feel like he can fix things, but that last moment was heartbreaking to say the least. Oh, I'm rooting for you, Kendall. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, go ahead and give the video a like and tell me what you thought of these last three episodes down below and subscribe. I'll see you all next time and take care, everyone.